Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's a, a lovely sunny morning on the 16th of July and we're in Herefordshire. And uh, we found a lovely mushroom for me to, to tell you all about. It's just here. Now, if you come and take a closer look, what you'll see is a reasonably large white mushroom growing out the side of this beech tree. This is a live beech tree, but this part of it's dead. This mushroom doesn't infest live wood. It's not a parasite, it's a, a saprophyte. So he eats rotting and dead wood. So don't worry if you see him on your favorite local tree, he's certainly not doing any harm. Now, uh, if you have a look under the cap of this mushroom, you'll see something quite interesting. There's this huge egg cup-like structure at the base of the stem. That's called his vulva, and it gives the uh, mushroom its family name, the vulvariellas. All the vulvariellas grow from an egg sac or a vulva like that, and that would have covered the whole mushroom structure when it was smaller. And we can actually still see some of the vulval remains on top of the mushroom there. Now, before he burst through, he would have looked almost exactly like a giant goose egg sitting in his own egg cup of his own making. Uh, this is a lovely mushroom to find. His uh, family name, as I said, is Volvariella, and this is the Volvariella bombacina. Bombacina is uh, something in Latin that relates to silk, so that gives him part of his common name. This is the silky rose gill. If we have a look underneath him, again, you'll see on this young version, the gills are just almost off-white. There's a more mature version a bit further up the tree and you'll see here that the gills go quite pink as they mature, hence the name the rose gills. And that silkiness refers to the fibrous nature. I think you'll see it better on this one down the bottom here. The fibrous nature of the uh, of the cap apparently that looks a little bit like unwoven silk now he is an edible mushroom but there's a, a few reasons that i don't advise anyone to pick him first of all he does look very very similar to the amanita verosa or the destroying angel which is one of the most poisonous mushrooms in this country um, possibly even the northern hemisphere of the planet so uh, if that's not reason enough to stop you picking him i've got a better reason i know what this mushroom is it's the the silky rose gill uh, but i'm not taking him home because he's quite rare he's a mushroom that i really like to see um, but because of his rarity he never comes home with me for cooking uh, and I'd like you guys to do the same, leave him where you see him. Um, I'm doing this video for you so that you can identify him without having to pick him. The, the one family of edible mushrooms that you could possibly mistake this for at a cursory glance is the oyster mushrooms, purely because it's growing in a similar place, you know, out the side of dead wood. But a very simple check under the cap will tell you uh, that this isn't an oyster mushroom. First of all, the oyster mushrooms do not grow from an egg sac. So if you see the egg sac, you know you've not got an oyster. Secondly, the oyster mushroom gills run down the stem. They're what we call decurrent gills, and they run down the stem sometimes all the way into the wood that the mushroom's growing out of. And uh, the gills on the vulvariellas are very different. They're actually free gills. They don't really even touch the stem at all. So a quick look under the cap will tell you that you've not got an oyster mushroom. These features, if you're a novice forager, would obviously send out a bit of a warning um, about the destroying angel. But the real reason, as I said, not to pick this mushroom is because he's quite rare. Very interesting find for the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.